Let's come up. Thank you. Yeah. Share with us the words of an Appalachian hero, Tim Heckler. and from the great Ken Heffler. It's an honor to read his words today. Thank you all. To those who don't know me, my name is Ken Heffler, and I'm sorry I'm not with you today on this most auspicious occasion. My thoughts, however, are with you, my friends and my allies, in our struggle to end the travesty called mountaintop removal. I salute you in this fight, because fight we must to maintain our democracy and the environment that sustains us all. I have been a fighter my entire life. I fought at World War. I disposed the very Nazis who I faced in that theater of war. I've advised presidents, I served in the U.S. Congress, and I marched with Martin Luther King for the rights of oppressed citizens. In my 97 years, I have seen people sacrifice and be sacrificed. We together take up the fight for our history, one that would be and has been endangered by historical revisionists armed now with heavy equipment called the coal industry. To those of you who've never heard, there are many, many sufferings. Blair Mountain was the site of the largest armed insurrection to take place in U.S. history next to the Civil War. Weapons of mass destruction were airily dropped on the Appalachian people fighting for their rights that you, your parents, and grandparents have counted on in the American workplace for decades. I'm sure you've indeed heard of the Civil War, but not necessarily the Mind Wars. These conflicts culminated in 1921 to literally bring federal force to bear on the nearly 20,000 armed miners who more than anything wanted to live in the freedom that they had fought for in the First World War. They wanted to be able to pursue their livelihoods without that yoke of private armed security forces that the coal industry thugs brought to us. The forces that terrorized us and our families when they dared to organize as workers. They wanting what ultimately became the concessions that the unions have won for the following generations. Now, once again, people's movements are endangered as we face trying times, but fight. We must fight. The second battle of Blair Mountain, which is happening now, should be the focal point for this movement, for it is the best symbol I know of what you face in your struggle. The powers that be want not only to erase it for profit, like the nearly other 500 Appalachian mountains they flatten, but they want now to obliterate this hollow ground that endures with the labor history it represents. This must not be. So ask yourself to step up and don the mantle that I bear, Hellraiser. If you believe in this struggle, and I know you do, then it is time to double your efforts. If you don't like to get political, then it's time you understand that the circumstances of your very life is political. So do it now, get political. You must realize the power to change is not only within your grasp, but it is to your responsibility, to your generation and the one to follow to exert this power of citizenship. I have now chosen to ignore my own political party, and I have endorsed a fighter, Jesse Johnson, who's running for Senate from West Virginia. Jesse, Jesse is a fighter, he too is a hell raiser, and he is the one to carry this baton. I have deemed him the ultimate solution in this fight. I ask every one of you who are serious about this struggle to donate your money and energy. Come to West Virginia and sweep the ground with real change and help elect a champion that I believe can be trusted upon to take your fight to the United States Senate and prevail. Jesse Johnson is that fighter. Jesse is fond of asking his audience the questions, are you sick enough yet? Well, if not, when? Today, we make our stand as the Appalachian Mountain people I bless you all today. Ken yeah. And now it's my
my honor to introduce the next United States Senator from the great state of West Virginia. It's Jesse Johnson. It reminded me, by watching uh, Reverend Billy last night, thought of Psalm 72.3. The mountains will bring prosperity to the people. The hills, the fruit of righteousness. Think about that, folks. When they tell you that this means jobs, I'm telling you that mountaintop removal kills jobs. Yeah! When I think about Ken Eckler, who wrote the Mine Health and Safety Act of 1969, and I think about how his rules and regulations were not, were not followed at Sago, and were not followed at Upper Big Branch, it makes me want to sing this song for you. Please sing along if you remember because it's, when I thought about it and I used to sing it, I was singing it about war, but it's also about this war and it's about this issue. Find the cost of freedom buried in the ground. Come on, everybody. Mother will swallow you. Lay your bodies down. Well, that's what real miners do. Okay? And when he tells you that this, is, that this second battle of Blair Mountain is the number one galvanizing issue that this movement should take up. That's exactly what he means, and that's exactly what we should do, because they want to erase our history, they want to erase the history of labor in this nation, and they want to remove it for a little bit of coal, and then another mountain, and then another mountain, and then another mountain, and they take the miners out of the mines, they are killing the jobs, they are poisoning our waters at their very source. When we look, and you can ask Dr. James Hansen, when they're looking for life on, in other worlds, what do they look for? Water. That's right. And the water that drops onto the Appalachian Basin, that great and ancient filtration system supplies all the water from, from the Mississippi all the way down on the East Coast. That water is poisoned by 500 or 5 million pounds of explosives every single solitary day. It is pushed into the headwaters, aborting life, aborting life in the headwaters. We cannot survive without water, people. And this is the only water that we have. It's falling from the sky. And then we're allowing these people, these corporations, to poison it before it ever gets to your tap. This is our number one issue. And our number one galvanizing place to stand is Blair Mountain. Do not allow them to erase history. Do not allow them to ignore your voice. Do not allow them to destroy God's creation. I am here to fight for you, and I need you to fight for Appalachia, to fight for West Virginia. God bless you all.